Hello there, I'm Dan Nowakowski and we'll showcase our Rochester Symphony exhibit now. Um, so the Rochester Symphony actually got its start in 1919 by two brothers named Harold and Glenn Cook. Now Glenn would later leave and join the Minneapolis Symphony, but Harold stayed and was a longtime conductor for them. Now they started the symphony by forming, contacting different musicians and forming a symphony and we're like let's put it on concert to see how it could what the draw would be well their first concert was at the armory and it was filled and it shocked the brothers but after the first concert they were like well let's try this again see if we get the same reaction and actually the big picture we have over here is of the second concert at the Metropolitan Hotel as you can see, it's not very big for the group yet, but Harold Cook is standing in the middle. They're being conducting, and there's the, the other musicians. Now from here, they grew much, much bigger, and they would put on concerts every so often. And below the big picture is actually all their programs from the 1919 all the way up to present day. And you can kind of see how they have changed and so forth um, and everything. And what's interesting with the symphony is a lot of people don't realize how big the group actually is. And we actually have some good pictures to showcase their size. Um, here we have a picture of them in 1941. They have increased a lot since the 1919s. Now a symphony is made of um, wind instruments, uh, brass in instruments, and violins, and those type of instruments. And on display we have a early violin. It's a replica of the Nicholas Amadeus Fisit um, from 1674. Um, it's in very good condition. And then below that we actually have the very first program. And then a uh, baton for the conductor and then another program opened up. But the symphony has been around for over 100 years, which is really cool, because sometimes you don't realize how long symphonies have been operating. But the music in Rochester and Olmsted County has been prominent ever since the Cook Brothers actually kind of came into play, because they actually got their start with the park band that their father helped start. And from there, they just, have been in the music career ever since. Um, eventually, Harold Cook would be known as Music Man of Rochester. He won that award um, later on in his life. And the symphony still gives them a lot of credit for help getting them started. They're still performing today and everything, and you can go check it out their concerts every year. Um, but it was just a nice exhibit to showcase the one of the longstanding organizations of Olmsted County that has been here since 1919. We appreciate you guys joining in to our virtual tours and hope you continue watching them. Uh, so thank you and see you soon.